good morning students i hope you all are fine so today i will be taking your english one class uh, after 2 3 weeks because you all know that we three teachers are there and as per your question paper we will be taking the classes so uh, today is my term so you all can understand <coughs> that we had already uh, that time we completed uh, compositions and directed writing also we completed almost each part except this testimonial and mm, uh, statement of purpose though we do not have statement of purpose uh, in class 11 th uh, this time due to this pandemic uh, situation it Uh, council has not kept it here, so we will, we need not to uh, focus on that because already there are so many uh, sec uh, so many sections or so many parts. So uh, let us only concentrate whatever is there in our portion. So testimonials uh, actually testimonials is obviously official statement about a person's. character qualification and achievements okay and it is uh, uh, generally from the official person who has observed you and who can who has the authority as well to uh, write down all those things or to say all those things uh, means about you or related to you so obviously here the tone must be formal and the facts should be precise okay means to the point it's not you you do not get enough scope to so exaggerate things over here to the point or precise or brief compact and you the tone must be formal there shouldn't be any personal influence suppose uh, the means it should not uh, have that tone okay so and to whom so ever it may concern this must be written at the at the very first at the topmost part in the middle it will be written to whom so ever it may concern and then you will continue okay so this is all about testimonials whereas uh, but a statement of purpose is uh, some means when you are saying about your own self that is a kind means you can call it a type of biodata so this much only you need to know now for now and testimonials is someone else someone who has the authority uh, to say uh, some facts related to you and what are those facts those things will be definitely covering your means about the person's character qualification achievements and uh, so on now Uh, i hope uh, in our online classes i got to know that some of you have uh, started doing uh, the previous works and some of you have not started yet so it's my request please do not neglect your work uh, keep on doing them in proper time otherwise things will be you know, somehow there ready for you and you will not be able to manage with all of them try to at least Uh, tr test your own self whether you can uh, do that or you can write that type of composition or not at least you should uh, you should give a try to it i hope you all uh, can understand this so see here we have one question that is uh, uh, that you need to uh, that you can assume that you are, are the principal of a school and you need to write a testimonial for a student who is leaving the school after passing her class 12 examination now uh, while uh, writing this what are the uh, what uh, you uh, what are the thing you need to focus on means the outline of the testimonial it will be given you will be provided with the outline and you need to uh, cover up all the sub points that the that will be mentioned in the question paper so the first point will be definitely name of the student so you uh, that you can understand you need to write uh, means you need to write the name of the student school from which the candidate is passing out due and duration of studentship in the school 
and you need to provide date of birth according to school admission register you need to provide comments on the student's nature behavior and some special qualities that kind a leadership quality or a good player or good debater whatever and prizes won for the school okay you need to include these things academic performance and co curricular activities popularity among teachers and peers means whether the fellow was popular uh, among his friends and teachers or not all these things also you need to jot down and obviously at the end in a informal tone you need to uh, provide best wishes for success in future so it is generally thought that you are writing this uh, testimonial so that the child uh, you can uh, can somehow uh, informally you can address it as means uh, in a broader sense that school leaving certificate in a broader sense that the person is or the child is going to take admission in a in an another field and there these things are required so or the person is going to uh, try for a job or something else so you are providing this whereas the candidate himself or herself if does the same work for his own self or herself that will be called statement of purpose so i hope you all understood this now you should make a try to write it down and you need to and obviously at the end at the bottom there should be uh, as you all get that it is uh, who has uh, provided these and all those things are required so this is the uh, outline of the testimonial now you need to uh, give a try to it you need to try at least to write it down if you face any kind of problem or if you want specimen that also i can provide but i need to know that but before everything you need to try at least okay you need to try at least whether you all can do it or not along with that i want all of you to uh, write down all those previous compositions i hope it will be helpful for you so this much for today thank you have a nice day